The template has already been traced onto the light grey pastel paper. And for the eyes, use a light green pastel pencil and then blend the touch of black to dull the eyes down slightly. Add the pupils with the black pencil. Begin adding in some of the black areas around the eyes. Now on the body, begin using a black pencil again to add in all the black lines and the patches. Don't do any blending at this stage. And as we progress around the head, the tiger template starts to look like a tiger. Take a paper stump and begin pushing the loose pastel into the paper. This darkens up the lines and patches. Don't try to blend the edges at this stage. Lightly stroke a blue-gray pastel stick in the background area. Blend with the finger and add some black and blend further, keeping it a bit darker below. Use the stump to blend it nicely against the edge of the tiger. Add the body color with burnt sienna or a similar color and blend with the stump. In the face, the burnt sienna is marked in all the areas between the, the black patches. Add it very lightly in the nose area. Blend the burnt sienna with a paper stump. Be careful in not pulling in too much of the black pastel. Add some yellow ochre color to the nose as well as up on the left hand side of the face. Do some light blending on the nose. The tongue is painted with a light pink or a light red pastel pencil and the shadow area with a darker tone. Do the same to the tip of the nose and lighten the tip of the tongue with a white pencil. Now the white reflects some of the sky and for this white in the shadows use a bluish blue pencil. Blend with a stump and burnish over with a white pencil. Back again to the body, strengthen up the body color and darken up the lower parts by pressing harder on the burnt sienna pencil. Blend with your fingers. The white hairs did not show up properly, so I had to darken up the area beneath the loose hairs some more. The white pencil was not quite white enough, so I used a soft white pastel stick instead. For the fly hairs on the right, the white pencil is okay as they are in the shade. Continue in the shadow side of the face. Paint the ear with the same colors we used for the body. Add the few loose hairs over the black. The left ear is easy to complete. And did you notice how I pushed and rolled the pencil for the fly hairs? All the smaller black marks are now added with a sharp pointed black pencil. Get them similar, but not necessarily exactly the same. In the mouth, add the light shading and plot in all the dotted lines where the whiskers originate. And add the shadow to the eyes and the highlights. <laughs> Unfortunately, I tend to jump around quite a bit. The teeth are not white, but a dark yellow. Well, maybe he needs a toothbrush. Add the grey and white around the chin as well as all the loose fly hairs. Paint in all the whiskers and finish the other tooth. Back to the main body area again. Stroke some burnt sienna near the top and dark brown lower down. Blend them with the fingers and add the yellow at the neck. Add a few black stripes and then lastly draw in all the long whiskers. A few touch-ups here and there for finishing touches. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. If you would like to see the paint-along version of this class head over to our website onlineartlessons.com Thank you for watching.